Much games. Well, hello there, and welcome to Rio, one of the most magical cities on Earth. We'll use that map behind me to track your progress. This is going to be great. But before we start, there's some rules you'll need to know. We'll play three games in each spot on the map. After each set of three games, we'll see how you're getting on. If you're winning, we'll be able to continue on to the next location. If you're not, then I'm afraid it'll be the end of our journey. You got that? Great! Let's get on with the games. Our journey starts far from Rio in the sleepy little town of Moose Lake, Minnesota, where even the snowmen get frostbite. Nah, I'm just playing. They don't really, but they do get their fair share of runny noses. This is where my buddy Blue was raised, and it's the place he calls home.
admit, that's actually a pretty good performance. What are you looking at? You're expecting the dog, right? Tough. I've taken over now. So it looks like you've completed your Moose Lake games. Let's see what happened. What? You won? Well, that's a disappointment. I thought you'd be toast by now. Does that mean we have to continue with this mind-numbingly dull story? You know this doesn't bring back good memories. Okay. So what happened next? So the journey continues deep in the Brazilian rainforest, home to an amazing world of exotic birds and creatures of all shapes, colors, and sizes, all ripe for smuggling. This is where Blue was originally from, until he got himself captured. Ha <laughs> loser! Oh.
Nigel left me here to keep an eye on you. So, you made it out of the rainforest, huh? Let's see how you got on. You won, didn't you? You're better at this than I was expecting. I guess you'll be wanting to hear what happened next as some kind of reward. Ha! Will Blue live a happy life at Moose Lake? But unfortunately for him, he learned about where he originally came from. Is there anything the internet doesn't know? He decided to travel to Rio to try to meet other birds like him. Maybe the little sap was feeling lonely. Oh!
of my biggest problem. You must show heart. Break it to you, but you're back again, eh? Well, let's see how you. Oh. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Ah, you're still here. Good. Don't worry about that miserable old flea bag. You let me know if he gives you any trouble. Now. You finished the Rio Streets games, I see. You won, I hope. Let's see. Ha <laughs> <laughs> yeah! You won that round. I knew you would. I just knew it. Now back to our journey. Where were we? Hmm. Oh, yeah. So it turns out Blue was rarer than anyone had imagined. Would you believe it? There was only one other bird like Blue. Unbelievable, huh? Her name was Jewel, and she lived in safety at Rio's conservation center. Blue just had to go meet her.
Maybe I can get through this without any interruptions this time. So let's see if you manage to bluff your way through the Conservation Center games. What? You won? Well, that's a disappointment. I thought you'd be toast by now. Does that mean we have to continue with this mind-numbingly dull story? You know this doesn't bring back good memories. Okay. So what happened next? Okay, this is the bit of the story I've been waiting for. You'll love this bit. So those lovebirds were all settled in at the conservation center. So guess what I did? I kidnapped them. That's what I did. From right under the noses of security. It was like taking candy from a baby. Next thing they knew, they were safely locked up in my warehouse. <laughs>
Come on, lovebirds!
You here again? I got stuck babysitting you guys, I'll never know. Let's see how those last games went. You won, didn't you? You're better at this than I was expecting. I guess you'll be wanting to hear what happened next as some kind of reward. Ha! Well, it turns out Nigel really ain't as smart as he thinks he is. Cause he only went and let them birds escape from his warehouse from right under his nose and everything. And who do he get to tidy his mess up? I'll tell you who, me and the boys. While we were searching all over, those bird brains were having a great time over at Corcovado.
so how you getting on, kid? You finish your games at Corcovado, I see. Well, we better see who's winning now.
and truly got this one. You're still in the game. What? You won? Well, that's a disappointment. I thought you'd be toast by now. Does that mean we have to continue with this mind-numbingly dull story? You know this doesn't bring back good memories. Okay. So what happened next? Okay, so we still hadn't found those pesky birds, and by now I was starting to lose patience with those moronic marmosets. How long does it take to find the only two blue spix macaws in Rio? But we had a tip-off that they were at the fruit market. They couldn't get away again, right?
isn't extinct yet. Sort of thing. Follow my lead. Watch and look. He's gonna be number one. No time for losers. Feels like home. Not you again. You know, I'm really not that interested in how you're doing. Uh, I'm out of here. You won, didn't you? You're better at this than I was expecting. I guess you'll be wanting to hear what happened next as some kind of reward. Ha! Me and the boys have been searching everywhere for those pesky macaws but turns out they're real slippery customers. I'm not sure how, but they made it to the safety of that dog's garage. You know why it's safe? You seen him? He's fierce, man. There was no way we were setting foot in there.
not to pin. What up, family? Oh! Follow my lead! Samba King!
fancy seeing you guys so soon. You know, if I'd known you were going to visit my garage, I'd have cleaned up a bit. Hope the mess didn't put you off too much. Let's see. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah! You won that round. I knew you would. I just knew it. Now back to our journey. We're worried. Hmm. Oh, my garage! You know, we had a great time. I really had them guys scared. But you want to know what a really, really great time is? Carnival! Man, I love Carnival!
Test. I got all my paws crossed for you, buddy. Let's see if you made it. 